Welcome, my apprentices. I am your master, Darth Stardust, and today I've got something special for you. Um, we're doing something a little bit different than I normally do. Uh, normally, you see me watching or uh, playing older Star Wars games, but uh, I decided to do something a little bit newer. And it's obviously not Star Wars, but it's one of the things that I do enjoy playing: um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um, I'm a big fan of Assassin's Creed in general, so um, I was super excited to be able to try and play this. I did a little recording test of the game that I was playing before, um, which is, was my own personal game, going through the story. But let's do a let's play with you guys. That's what I wanted to do. So without further ado, without me yapping, let's get into it. Now hopefully, uh, we were having some problems with the uh, cutscene before, hopefully that's not gonna happen again um, because it is a beautiful game and all the cutscenes are are just wonderful so um, so if you guys have been following Assassin's Creed you know that Odyssey is set in ancient Greece so if you guys have ever seen the movie 300 we're about to see the king from 300 um, because we my king. he is the king of Sparta tell me the Nekis. have you ever gone fishing with your son no, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Now. <clears throat> Let us meet our fate, shall we? I'm assuming those are the enemies. It seemed like a lot. A lot of enemies. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! Well, that's quite violent. But you know, they were pretty good warriors, the Spartans. Just uh, starting off there with a, a big bang. I like it already. Obviously, obviously I played this, um, not the entire game. I haven't gotten through the entire game before, um, but I have played this, this part anyway. The graphics are just so good in this game. They look really good. A lot of bloodshed. That's why this game is rated M. Children don't watch. Alright. Just go ahead and stab people right here. Oh. That's uh that's our ally right there. We're killing it. Spartan. So just going around and uh, and trying to kill this this big guy. We're supposed to kill the captains. Goodness. Yeah, definitely it's not supposed to it's not supposed to watch it if you're queasy or uh, don't like violence. It's not a good game for that. Oh no, I didn't do it. I did do it, just kidding. You're just supposed to survive, I guess. 
until you can meet this guy. Unix Spartan, I'll bring Xerxes your head! Xerxes sends his sheep to slaughter. Come, Persian! I will bring Xerxes your head, you insolent Spartan fool! Come and get it! Your blood today, Spartan! I'll get drunk on your blood as the crows feed on your eyes! That's you will gruesome. Fly and you will fail! Xerxes is the king of kings! All will bow before him after I crush you! Spartan kick! Come, fool! Enough talk! Time to die! Yeah. My son is more of a warrior than you! Once I'm done with you, King, all of Sparta's sons. Yay. Sparta's sons would rather die. There we go. No match for a Spartan. Yay, we killed him. Just let these, uh, these loading screens. That's one thing that it's kind of a downfall of this game. The loading seems to and now I don't I don't know if it's just my game or or my hardware, but it just seems to have really long loading screens this game. So We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. Your distraction is advised because this cutscene can get pretty gruesome as well. If you are squeamish, look away. By dawn, <laughs> we will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. There you go. That's, that's just gross. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Ew. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. That's true. The world remembers the legend of the 300 Spartans against the, uh, the Persians. They didn't survive, but, uh, you know. Finally. Wow. That's interesting. This is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just start it, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. The animus. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since you were last in here. There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. I think I will just do a normal. So let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Just gonna do guided mode, because that's the one that I've been doing before. A newer approach to playstyle, the user must investigate the world to uncover targets and quest objectives. This is the SS Creed Odyssey, is how it's meant to be experienced. This is more like the traditional Assassin's Creed experience. This is how I've been playing the other one. Um, I guess it does take a little bit out of it. But for the sake of time, I think that's that's the best as the guided as mode. as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, 
This guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. Now this is what I was talking about. Normally I play as girls, as the girl character. I really don't know why, but um, this time, for the sake of the let's play and doing something that's outside my comfort zone, not necessarily that it's outside my comfort zone, but it's something that I don't normally do, um, we'll play as Alexios. He will lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't going to win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Owen Victoria, read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, so a kind of a rundown of the people who, of you guys who have not actually played any Assassin's Creed games. There's a lot of games out there. Um, and trying to boil down the story is like almost impossible, but essentially you have two factions. You have the Templars and the Assassins. The Assassins stand for the good people. The Templars, all, all they want is control. So essentially, Kefalonia Island, 431 BCE. When they say BCE, they, they're referring to before Christian era. Um, as I was saying, um, the Assassins and the Templars, and there's also a group of people that lived before, the ones that came before. That's what they were called, saying were the Isu. Um, in other Assassin's Creeds, they, they communicate with either Assassins or the Templars. They have powerful artifacts that are hidden around history. So, um, the Assassins and, well, the Templars look to control the world, so they look for these artifacts to gain an edge. And the Assassins generally are the keepers, um, of these artifacts. They keep them safe and everything like that. Um, that's basically Assassin's Creed in a nutshell. I know that's way, 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 way oversimplifying it, but it does have an, um, it has a modern day story and the story that's in the animus essentially. Get down here. Cyclops got a message for you. Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! <laughs> Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough. So act tough! Get a little closer and I will. You should not. The Cyclops right. always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. Okay. So that was. We quickly dispatched with our, our two enemies that were in front of us. Last week? <laughs> this shit happens every week. I can't keep doing this. Nah. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> I'm assuming that the eagle was saying, Hey, there's bad guys coming. It's like, what oh, that's to too you? late. It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? 
Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. So these, uh, this game has like dialogue, dialogue options. This is not really going to change much of the story, what I say to her. But, uh... I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So In certain other situations, doing? it does oh, I almost matter. Forgot. Marcos is looking for you. Uh, what does that weasel want now? Don't know. Marcos. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? He bought a vineyard. It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Since when has he had the vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So, Marcos, who owes me drag me, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. Where can I find Marcos's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. All right, let's go. I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <laughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. You best run quick, little girl, because I'm pretty, pretty quick myself. Yeah, see, this is what it's talking about the choices that you can go through. I can either kill them or just let them go. I'll let them go. Fun's over. I'm Tell not a, one a mean guy. If he sends you here again, I'm going to cut his other eye out and feed it to my bird. <laughs> I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Marcos knew this would serve young Alexios well. Can't imagine fighting the Cyclops' thugs with it now. Let's see, I'm just gonna go around and, uh... Because I didn't actually explore a lot around my house, I guess. Twice today. So... Yeah, let me go. Alright. So we got a couple of things. Got a level one sword. And we got some armor. It's pitiful armor, it gives us six armor. Compared to what I was doing before, that's just uh it's just bad. Let me tell ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I really hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot more coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe for more content and like this video, and share it with your friends if you really enjoyed it. Thanks guys, thanks for all the support. May the force be with you.